He's one of the key returning juniors coming back to Lompokai this upcoming season. The same Lompokai team now moving into the Channel League. This is Mr. Leandre Coleman. Leandre, how's your day going so far? It's going good so far. You know, I just came up here for me today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, talk about not only the transition of going into the Channel League, but looks like you're playing, you're getting familiar with wide receiver now. So talk a little bit more about that. Uh, um, last year was primary defense, you know, linebacker. This year, I'm like um, funneling into many different positions, rotating linebacker, going wide receiver, you know, of course, on defense, going linebacker, and then messing around with corner and brave a little bit. So hmm. it's a lot this year, just uh, different positions to take in. Not only that, you're getting used to a guy like TJ Jordan. I mean, just what kind of energy does he bring on in practices every uh, every day? He brings a lot. You know, he, we got signals, so everything's fast. You know, we can go no huddle. So he just brings a lot of energy to the whole team. Be honest, is is practices a lot more faster with TJ? Yes, over there. Faster. <laughs> yeah, it, I mean, nice. just is he kind of like an in-your-face guy, or is he more like a he's laid back? Like, he'll be laid back, but when he needs to get in your face, he'll start yelling in your face, mm -hmm. and then he'll make sure everything's right when you do. Not only that, defensively, you got Dustin Davis, who used to be head coach at St. Joseph. Yeah. He's taking control of the defense. What's your guys' relationship like right now? Um, you know, I just he moved to Lompo a couple weeks ago. And other than that, we have no problems. We get along easy, and it's just everything we got to do. And it sounds like that he's not changing too much in the defense, right? Yeah, he's not changing a lot, but just making like minor changes. Mm -hmm. But still the same defense. So your brother went through the recruiting process. Where things are currently with you? I mean, what have you gotten a chance to check out any camps? Maybe take uh, any unofficial visits at all? Uh, not a visit yet, but you know, keep in contact with co uh, coaches and email, mm -hmm. Twitter, stuff like that. It's simple. Which ones would you say you've uh, interacted with the most right now? Um, I'd say Arizona and Wake Forest. Wow, Arizona, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Not only that, a proud brother moment. I mean, you, you got Levon who got picked up by the Texans. So have you have you kind of stayed in contact with Levon? Yeah, I was uh, talking to him yesterday before, after practice. I, know, I was texting him, calling him. He said they start full pass today. So they, they're really about to know what's going on starting now. Have you kind of, has your family kind of already uh, started purchasing Texans gear at all? Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, we got beanies, we got, I'm getting a jacket, we got keychains, we're going to get a lot of stuff. <laughs> Any uh, JJ Watt jerseys or? I haven't got one yet. <laughs> I'm planning to get one though, I have to. All right, so heading it, like moving forward, just what are some of your uh, your goals for this upcoming season? Individual goals and then also team goals? Just on defense, especially have more, you know, play better on defense, make easier reads, have more tackles and sacks, and for the team, just all bond, all click together, and then eventually that'll lead us to the championship if we make it that far. All right, he's one of the key guys coming back to what should be as an experienced and also talented Lompo Kai team. Lompo Kai moving into the Channel League. We're going to keep a close eye on Mr. Leonzer Coleman this upcoming year. This is Lorenzo J. Reyna with Lee Central Coast News.